Proverbs 25, counsel in the heart of man is like deep water, hallelujah, but a man of understanding will draw it out, see, in other words, you, you're able to, to know a person has a little more wisdom than you might have about the things of the Lord and the walk, so you're able to go over there and you're able to draw that out, you're able to draw out of that well, see, you get out of that well, that good wisdom, it's like t talking to the elderly, who are, have been walking with the Lord for 40, 50, 70 years. You know, you talk with them about the Lord, and, and boy, you can draw out that wisdom. You can draw it out of their well, you know. Hallelujah. And get filled. Praise God. Hallelujah. Proverbs 20:18. Every purpose is established by counsel. And with good advice, make war. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Hallelujah. And with good advice, make war. That's what we do, see. Hallelujah. We go to the Scripture. We learn from the Scripture how to do warfare. Hallelujah. See, you say to the devil, it is written. See? See, John's putting out this stuff, and he don't even hardly quote the Bible. He'll use one verse here. Or one. His favorite verse is John 5, 39, you know. Search the Scripture. Jesus said you search the Scriptures, you know. Blah, 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 you know. And, and that's his favorite verse in the whole Bible, you know. In other words, he don't want you to search the Scripture. Because the Pharisees, Jesus was talking to the Pharisees. See, I don't search the Scriptures. For eternal life. I have eternal life living inside of me, the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. See? Hallelujah. But I go to the scripture to uh, to get reminders. I go to the scriptures to get filled. I go to the scriptures to, to learn more truths about the Lord. See, see, his who Christ is is it's fathomless. You it's deeper than the ocean is deep. It's higher than the universe is high. Okay, and all the truths of Christ, hallelujah, in Christ are innumerable, infinite, okay, and many, 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 many of those truths, okay, are contained in the scriptures, and you can find out more and more, you can live to be 120 years old and read the Bible through every year and still glean more and more and more and more truth to bless your soul, to help you in the walk. Hallelujah. But not if you're not reading the Scripture. You're just like a tear just growing up, you know, waiting to be cut down and harvested, see. You need to read the Scripture. Those of you that are truly the Lord's and you love Jesus, you come out from that false teacher. Come out from Yom Bashal, bro, just in these people. Because all they're doing is putting poison in you, see. It's like the lady in Oklahoma. She killed her husband. How did she do that? See, she, she was trying to be sly. She killed her husband. She just put a little bit of antifreeze in his coffee every day. Just a little bit. You know, not enough where he could taste it. But boy, he drank that coffee every day. Every cup of coffee, she put just a little bit of antifreeze. And that's what Jan's doing. That's what the devil's doing through him. See? Just a little bit of poison. Just a little bit of poison. Just a little bit of poison. And pretty soon, I'm telling you, I promise you, I prophesy to you, you will be dry. You will be dry. There will be no water in your well in the time of testing that's coming. Your lamp will not be filled with oil. Okay? Any voice you're hearing now, you think it's the voice of Jesus, and it doesn't line up with Scripture, it's not the voice of Jesus. Okay? And when the time of testing comes, you won't hear that voice, and you won't have anything to draw from. Thus saith the Lord. Get in the Word. Seek the Lord. Prayer. Hallelujah. Fasting. Seek Him with all your heart. Hallelujah. Now listen to this. Hallelujah. Proverbs 21.30 There is no wisdom, nor understanding, nor counsel against the Lord. No. Uh -uh. You can't counsel against the Lord. Proverbs 24.6 For by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war, and in multitude of counselors there is safety. See, John says don't go to people. If you go to people to get help, you're prostituting yourself. If we go to any other source for guidance, for light, for insight, for wisdom, it's prostitution. Jan Bashoff is a liar, okay? He doesn't go by the scripture, people. You need to understand this. Okay, I'm going to read that again. Proverbs 24, verse 6. For by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war see we're battling right now we have a warfare going on between the flesh and the spirit okay 
So the battle is happening, and the violent take it by force. Take what? The kingdom of heaven within. See, the kingdom of heaven's within. John's always speaking about going to heaven, but see, heaven's already come in. Hallelujah with Christ. See, Jesus said, "The kingdom of heaven has come unto you." He is the kingdom of heaven, and He lives in us. Hallelujah. See, by the Holy Spirit. Proverbs twenty-seven nine. Ointment and perfume rejoice the heart. So doth the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel. Praise God. See, this this is the truth of God's word. Now that's the word counsel in the book of Proverbs. Okay, there's uh, thirteen verses. Hallelujah, where, where the Lord's speaking about counsel, and that's just one book of the of the Scripture. Now, if I do a search on the entire Bible on the word counsel, uh, you're going to have, um, wow, 137 verses, <laughs> okay, one word, 143 hits, okay, so there you go, you know, you want to believe the scripture, which is your solid rock foundation that we have today to protect us from the evil man, protect us from the evil man, to protect us from the evil man, and the false teacher, and the false prophet, okay, or you want to follow the evil man, okay, and therefore become evil yourself. Jesus said, uh, the Pharisees make of two full more the child of hell than they are themselves. Okay. Cry out to God. Believe his scripture. Believe the word of God today. And stop uh, listening to the liars, okay. And stop, uh, let me just share this with you. The way that the children of Israel committed adultery against God it talks about in the book of Jeremiah they were worshiping other gods they were worshiping other gods they were worshiping themselves they were doing it their own way and they were committing fornication and adultery spiritual adultery against the Lord of hosts and that's what people do okay and have done who are false teachers and false prophets they prostitute themselves by worshiping themselves and following their own self and the image that they've made up in their own mind of who God is and worshiping their vanity. We must worship the living and the true God, okay? the Holy God, revealed to us in our heart by the Holy Spirit and from the Holy Scripture. Because the Scripture, which was spoken out of God's mouth, see, it was spoken out of God's mouth to Jeremiah, to Ezekiel, to Hosea, to Daniel, to Isaiah, to Samuel. It was spoken out of God's mouth to these men. And they wrote it down. They wrote it down. They wrote it down on paper and preserved it. And it's preserved for us today. We have the words. We have the prophecies. All the prophecies people are giving can be found in the Word. Can be found in the Word. Can be found in the Word. But people make it out like it's some kind of new revelation. They're getting sorry. No. No. And if the prophecies people are giving can't be backed up by the Word... It's not a true prophecy. It's not a true prophecy. Okay? Hallelujah. Believe the scripture. Believe that it's true. Gain the life therein that God wants to give you. Hallelujah. By the Spirit. By the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. If we go to any other source for guidance, for light, for insight, for wisdom, that's prostitution. I don't read you in the Bible, man. I go check where what he tells me is really true. Yeah. You know how sly we are, people? You know how sly we are, people? Because he's God. He's not like you. He's not like you and me. He won't give you a review. He won't lie to you.